Praise God. Jesus bless this message. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, don't forget Google Meets tonight is Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everybody's welcome. The code is R-A-O-U-B-O-F-M-V-I. How do you find Google Meets is a question I get. Just open your internet up and search Google Meets and open it up and put that code in and hit join. And I'll let you in. You don't have to put your mic or video on if you don't want to. Okay. I may say, how are you doing? Would you like to introduce yourself? You can either put your mic on and tell me or you can type it in the chat section. Either one, it don't matter. Okay, but the most important thing is come and grow, forsake not assembling thyself together. Um, I've had some viewers ask me, do you teach the teachings of Jesus? Um, I know some of you probably haven't heard my testimony. Go listen to my testimony. It's a couple videos back on my page, my suicide testimony. Um, I teach you everything Jesus teaches me here. That's why he let me live. That's why Jesus put his hand on my shoulder and anointed me and said, you're going to teach the people my word. There's no human being teaching me God's word. No church at all. No school, no videos, no nobody. I'd be scared to death try to learn anything from anybody on this planet since Jesus told me my own people do not know my word. Not just the people, but my own people. And now that Jesus is teaching me, he said, you're going to teach the people my word. He said, you're going to teach exactly what I teach you, which is what I do. I get it directly from the throne room. All of it. What I need to teach, the understanding of it. I get this deep understanding. Um, he's teaching me. Somebody said, do you teach the Ten Commandments? Uh, of course I do. I teach everything Jesus tells me to teach you. But I teach more than just the Ten Commandments. It goes, See, that's what a lot of Christians don't know. It goes so much deeper than that. There is Most of the Christians walking this planet are walking in disobedience to God. They don't even know His Word like He said. Yeah, Jesus obeyed all the laws. Absolutely. The laws don't save us. But I'll tell you something. If you are saved, you will obey those laws. That's right, and you will be judged on it, too. You'll be judged on your works when we stand before God. Jesus put it plain. He said, if you love me, you will obey me. If you love me, you'll obey my commands. Just as simple as that. But the thing is, when you really give your life to Jesus Christ, you want to. You look for it. But you know what most of these pastors aren't teaching you? Big churches, big congregations, huge, famous pastors. Jesus said, my own people do not know my word. And since Jesus has taught it to me, I'm bringing it up, bringing it up to this church, to the church he gave me. I'll tell you what it is. Most of these pastors aren't doing their job and teaching the church what they need to understand. They're not teaching obedience to God. That's a fact. Most of the Christians walking around, if they even know what the Ark of the Covenant is, they don't know what's in it. Or if they do, they'll tell you, oh, the Ten Commandments. That's not what's in the Ark of the Covenant. And we just taught it over the Passover. It's in Leviticus. What's in the Ark of that Covenant is a new covenant. The Ten Commandments are on the outside of the Ark sitting in a book. But what's in that Ark is the new covenant. You know, most churches don't even know the story, man. Moses went up that mountain, got the Ten Commandments from the Lord. He came down. They were sinning. He broke them. They were broken. He went back up and got a new covenant. But And, and so does that mean the Ten Commandments are null and void? Absolutely not. No. They're very much in effect. But God added to it to keep my feast days. And to keep them, that means do them. My days, my holy days, my feast days. The churches aren't really teaching nobody about that. And God said, keep them. Obey them. Do them and teach them to your children for generations to come. The churches aren't really teaching that. They might hit and miss on a couple things like Passover. Uh, they don't really teach on much of any of the rest of it. But you know what? They're God's days. So, you know... Like I said, who teaches you here at We Are Jesus Doers? 
Jesus does. The Holy Spirit, 100%. No human interactions here. It's all Jesus. And he's teaching, we are Jesus doers, his whole word front to back. Go listen to my suicide testimony. You'll see what Jesus did to me 17 years ago when I was with him. When he put his hand on me and he said, you're going to teach the people my word. My own people do not know my word. My people don't know what it means to believe. My people don't know what it means to be baptized in the water. Matter of fact, they don't even know what the water is. They think it's the swimming pool or the river. That's important, yeah, but that won't save you. What does it mean to be baptized in the water, y'all? I'll tell you this. If you're not obeying everything God said to do from front to back, you're not baptized in the water. I don't care if you went and dunked down 50 times. You're not baptized in the water if you're not living in God's word and letting God's word live through you. Live through you means you're doing the things Jesus did. You can only do the things Jesus did by obeying everything God said to do in his word. That's what we teach here at We Are Jesus Doers. All right, that's what the Lord teaches. I'll see some of y'all tonight at Google Meets, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're learning directly from the throne room here at We Are Jesus Doers. God bless you all. Thanks some of y'all for what you're doing for the ministry. Everybody else, you can go to JesusDoers.com. Look on the World Tab section, get Igor's updated world news. Um, don't forget we got that lunar solar eclipse tonight. Christians, armor up, pray up. Matter of fact, God had just given me a dream three nights ago about some stuff that's coming on this planet. And some of us are at the very next day. The very next day started happening. Armor up, people. Love your God with all your heart, soul, body, and mind, and love other people. And make sure you are obeying God in everything you said to do. Because that, that shows him you love him. All right. God bless you. I'll see y'all tonight.